Major New Brunswick lobster processor and distributor Westmoreland Fisheries will invest $10 million to expand its operations. Westmoreland will get $4.3 million loan from the Atlantic Canada Opportunities Agency to go with a $410,000 investment from New Brunswick provincial government. The company will provide the remaining $5.78 million to round out the project's funding. This is the largest investment in the company's history. The plan is for Westmoreland to modernize its lobster processing and distribution facilities so it can create new retail products for existing and potential markets. The company has already partially automated its meat line, invested in packaging equipment, and recently completed a large expansion of their cold storage capacity on site. Read more about Westmoreland's investment plan at seafoodnews.com and get additional lobster market analysis and insight by subscribing to the Seafood tab in Comtel. In other news, here's market reporter Terrence Wells with the details on chicken inventory levels and cold storage. Cold storage inventories of breast and breast meat continue to climb, and while leg quarter holdings were higher month to month, they still remain well below their year ago levels. According to the USDA's April 30th freezer report, total stocks have risen to over 800 million pounds again, this coming just one month after finally dropping below that same mark for the first time since last August. As many expected to see, white meat continues to accumulate at the freezer as demand remains softer than usual. Now, breast and breast meat account for more than 23% or 186 million pounds of all chicken in cold storage. On the contrary, demand has certainly supported the overall movement of dark meat, and it shows not only in the market, but also in the cold storage inventories. Next up, we take a look at how egg prices are continuing their slide. Here's market reporter Brian Moscajeri with the story. Wholesale shell egg prices continue to slide last week, hitting lows unseen since 2006. Supplies are available at a number of plants and sellers are struggling to find an interested party. Retail business has slowed as features shift towards grilling items ahead of Memorial Day. Producers are scrambling to make production adjustments, citing seasonal factors and cost of production. This is evident in this month's USDA chicken and eggs report, which showed table egg layers at 302 million for May 1st, down from 302.8 last month. Though minor, this marks the first month in layer decline since the flock hit AI-related lows back in June of 2015. Thanks, Brian. That concludes today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great day. This broadcast is sponsored by Eastern Quality Foods, wholesalers of poultry, beef, pork, and seafood since 1954. Visit them online at easternqualityfoods.com.